Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Just wanted to stop in and say hi to my old subscribers and to my new subscribers. I know I've been MIA, but it's a lot going on. So I'm trying to just get some videos done and uploaded so that while I am recovering from surgery, it won't seem like I've just fallen off the face of the earth. So let's get to it. The purpose of this video today is to do my February favorites. I was going through my videos and realized I had not done a favorites video in quite some time. So I'm going to be doing my February favorites video today. Um, it's makeup related and some face product related. Um, items and there's one item that I absolutely regret buying. It's just uh, I don't even know who to give it to But okay, we're gonna get started. So I'm gonna start with Brushes I am like like in desperate need of some new brushes So I picked up these This little set of equal tools brushes and I think you saw this in my Valentine's haul I picked up this set of equal tools brushes there are one, two, three, four, five. I think it's, it's six brushes in here, so I'm missing a brush somewhere. I guess when I was putting on my makeup yesterday, I didn't put it in there, and I must go and find whichever brush it is that's missing. Um, so here are the brushes. I'm going to take out two that I haven't used. Oops. Okay, I'm dropping everything. These are the brushes. This is what they look like. They're very soft. I like them and it's a good placeholder until I get my um, new set of brushes and it has a little travel case that I'm actually going to be taking them out of this little plastic and putting them in the travel case that came with it so these are my eco tools brushes I found these at Walmart can't remember how much I paid for them but six or seven dollars I believe so that's um uh, tool my favorite favorite my favorite tool for the month of February of course as far as lip balm is concerned you all know I love my EOS balls so I have three I plan to get all of them there is a pomegranate and a lemon one I think I am missing so I will be picking them all up I love that these are organic so I will be getting the rest of those. So these are my EOS balls. I got one from Walmart, but they're really prevalent here in Georgia at Target. And they're about $2.39 or $2.79. One of the two, but it's, they're not expensive. And this one I've had the longest. And as you can see, it's just about gone. So I've really been you, but I've had this for a long time. So they do last quite a while. So that is my EOS balls, February phase. Okay, I'm gonna move on to face products. Um, I have been having like, I think it's just stress and I have some other health things going on. And so my face started to break out and started to get dry like under my eyes one day I felt a dry patch. And as you all know, I make my own like shea butter and my black soap. And that's what I've been using on my face, but it seemed like my shea butter was not moisturizing me enough. I don't know what oil I'm not using enough of. So I had to go back to store brand or store bought products to get my skin to not be dry and to not have the dark patches, which they have gone away. So it tells me that the stuff I'm using is working. So what I picked up, and I think you did see this in a, um, Valentine's haul, is I picked up the Pond's um, Daily Exfoliating Cleanser. I love this stuff. When you use it, after you wash it off of your face, your face does not feel tight and dry. Um, when you're washing your face, you can feel the little micro beads in here. It's not harsh. It doesn't scratch your face. It's not abrasive. It just cleans your face. And when you're done cleaning your face, your face actually looks clean. I really like this product. And this is what it is. It's the Pine Luminous Clean Daily Exfoliating Cleanser. It has a pink top. So I really like this. I found this at Walmart, two or three dollars. I needed 
or wanted the um, Pines Clarion B, which is really, really hard to find because it helps with the dark spots. And I've developed some dark spots on my neck and, you know, on the side from my um, hormone imbalance because of the PCOS. So I wanted to find the pink one and I saw it at Kroger maybe three weeks ago and I left it because it was like $10 and I felt like that was too high. But I should have gotten it because I can't seem to find it. But I'm going to go on eBay and Amazon and see if I can find it at a little bit more of a comparable price. So what I did do was pick up this. This is the Pond's, um Dry Skin Cream. I really like this. I was a little apprehensive at first because I didn't want it to push me over the edge of being oily i have combination skin but i think in the winter i'm more dry than i am oily i'm not really excessively oily but when i put on makeup i do have a tendency to get to see oil in my t-zone so i needed something to moisturize my skin because my shea butter wasn't getting it and i picked up this and i am happy to say i really like it i have been using this product for about two weeks maybe three weeks i have used i use it every day i'm trying to see if i can get it i use it every day i haven't made a dent in it it smells good it's a light smell it's nothing overpowering i love it okay for when i am doing makeup i picked up this product which you have seen this on youtube a lot it is the clean and clear dual action oil free moisturizer i picked this up at walmart last week because i needed something to moisturize my face before i put my makeup on that would not make me oily and so i saw a lot of reviews on this so i decided to try this and i really like um the consistency it doesn't have a smell um and it helps prevent pimples and stuff i like this i will be picking up another bottle of this um because it does work and it doesn't make me oily like yesterday i put it on when i put my makeup on and i haven't been using like the milk or magnesia or anything and i really did not get oily so like i said my skin is weird some days it's oily some days it's not and i don't know if it's my new routine of using these three products that is kind of controlling the oil again i picked these things up from walmart so these are my favorite face products for February. Okay, next I'm going to move on to a fragrance. If you all saw my um, Valentine's Day haul, you know that I got the Nicki Minaj perfume for Valentine's Day. I am in love with this fragrance. I have not been in love with a fragrance in quite some time i am a huge escada fan rock and rio into the blue island kiss i love anything escada but you know they don't make those anymore you really got to go on a hunt to find them like i have a bottle of rock and rio on my bathroom sink right now that i use very sparingly because i just love it and i have a bottle of into the blue that i use very sparingly because i love escada i don't know why they stopped making their line but i love them so I haven't really been in love with a fragrance since Escada, but I wanted this because I am a Nicki Minaj fan. So I was going to get the perfume just for the bottle and just because I'm a fan, but it was a bonus that it smells really good. I really like it. It's a really soft scent. It's not overpowering. It's very floral. It doesn't smell like a, 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 a um, what's the word? A bouquet of flowers but it's very girly to me and the longer you wear it and let it settle the more it starts to smell more and more better that's a weird sentence but it starts to smell prettier so I love it you pull the top off let's see if I can pull it off and here it is I love it this is my favorite fragrance for February probably for the year but I don't know but for February I'm in love with this stuff Okay, so now we're going to move on to makeup. Trying to make this as quick as possible. Of course, right now, my favorite palette is my BH Cosmetics 88 Color Palette in Neutral Tones. I just ordered um, the 120 Neutral Tone eBay Palette. This is what it looks like. 
and I use this palette frequently but guys my favorite color in this palette is this right here it is a dupe for max brown script it's a reddish brown I am literally about to hit pan on this palette on that particular color um so I love this they are very pigmented some are matte some are shimmer I love this palette. I am so happy. It's like once I get the 120 um, palette, I think I will be okay for big palettes for a while. Of course, I continue to buy my little palettes and things like that from Wet n Wild and stuff like that. So this is my favorite palette for February, which is my BH Cosmetics um, 88 neutral palette. I'm trying to see if it has a no, it just says BH88. So that's my favorite palette. Um, My favorite eyeshadow primer right now is the Ruby Kisses primer. Just the regular one that everybody has, everybody uses. It has a little doe foot. I have a hard candy primer. I have an e.l.f. primer. Um, Somebody else. But I like this one. For my brows, my favorite thing right now for my brows is this e.l.f. Brow and Mascara Duo Stick. My brows are weird right now. I got them done last week and I'm not really liking them. I'm just struggling in the brow department right now, but I love this. I love this thing. I really love this. Okay, foundation. My favorite foundation, of course, is always my Bare Minerals System. This is Mineral Veil. I don't use it a lot. Um, but my my color is Deepest Deep. My color is Deepest Deep. And then I use the Warmth. I've had this for quite a while. Love it, love it, love it. A little goes a long way. It will definitely last you. So that is my favorite foundation, which is my Bare Minerals. Also, my favorite for face products is my BB cream. I love this. It is in the deep sheer tint. I use it by itself or under my bare minerals. Sometimes I use it as a tinted moisturizer. I wore this the other day with my just I just used the BB cream and warmth. The other day and I loved the, the I just loved it. I thought it looked really nice, really natural, really neutral. I will insert a picture in here during editing. My next favorite face product is my Heart Candy Primer. I like it, but I really want the Lorac or Lorac Aqua Aqua Prime. And that is on my list of things to purchase. But for now, this works well for me. I like it. Little bit goes a long way. I've had this for maybe a month or two. Haven't even put a dent in it. Also, I don't wear makeup every single day, but i haven't i've used this quite frequently and haven't put a dent in it and my bb cream but it is time for another bb cream because this color is hard to find you know us chocolate chicks have issues with finding our color so i'm gonna buy three or four more of these just so i won't get in a situation where i run out and i can't find it my next favorite product is the um ruby kisses 3d face creator now this shade is too dark for me and too orange i have yellow undertones and i didn't know when i was buying it i always look for the darkest colors because i feel like i'm dark but i'm not that dark so this is level 15 and i actually need level 12. so i like the consistency of this but not the color that i picked so i have to pick up a level 12. so ruby kisses 3d face creator you can find this at your local beauty supply love it my Wet n Wild Gel um, Cream Eyeliner, still my ultimate fave, is in number 886. My new fave or love is my Color Tattoos. I love these little pots. This one is bad to the bronze. And I love it. Love, love, love it. I love these things. I get them at Walmart. My favorite eyeshadow of the moment is my Hard Candy Lashaholic. I'm loving this. Love it. 
Now on to, oh, my jumbo pencil, of course. This one is in black bean. I have milk and a couple of other ones. I love these pencils. I get them at my local beauty supply. My neutral lip faves right now. This one is NYC. It's 304 Mocha. 304 Mocha. Love this. I wore it yesterday. And it was so pretty. Here it is. I'm hoping you can. It's gonna pick up on my skin. So pretty, so nice, so neutral. I love it. My Ruby Kisses in Ice Coffee Lip Gloss. Love it. These are a part of my nude um, lip collection that I'm building. This is my Maybelline's Vivid. This is number 50. And it's Luminous Latte. You would never be able to see it. I love the Maybelline Vivids. I love them. I love them. I love them. Um, and then another Ruby Kisses. This is Caramel Frappuccino. Another gloss that is a part of my new collection. And the one thing that I purchased this month that I absolutely hate is the NYC 16 Hour Smooth Proof Lip Stain. This stuff is awful. It is so drying. It is just, it feels weird. It makes your lips feel weird. This is never ending new in $4.92. I'm going to either throw this away or give this away. Find somebody that can work with it because it's horrible. It is absolutely horrible. I regret purchasing this tube of whatever. I don't know what NYC was doing when they came up with this. Okay, guys, that's all I have to show you. I was trying to keep the video under 15 minutes, and I'm like a minute over. But that is all I have to show you for my February favorites. I thank you guys for watching. I thank you for being a part of my channel and going along this journey for me with me. Always remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I will try to remember to put a product um list in the description bar or i'll just insert a picture because i've got it i gotta edit this tomorrow but until then guys thanks for watching and remember to be amazing bye